So now we need to set up our standard tubes. So in our writings file location, we need to tell it where our standard tubes XLS spreadsheet is located and then modify that spreadsheet. So here's the spreadsheet. Uh, there's a couple of columns in here. There's a column for part number. This would be the part number for your hose assembly. The route type will be a tube. The description will be the description for a particular hose assembly. Uh, the from reference is going to be connect con one. And then the from part file will be the hose fitting part file. And what configuration to use for that particular part file for that particular connection. Then we need to find the next connection will be con2, the fitting part file for that particular connection, and again the configuration for that particular fitting to be used in this assembly. Need to specify the length in meters and the diameter in meters. Now those are actually the required cells that you need to define a, a standard tube. Now I've added a couple other cells in here to convert from inches to meters, uh, but it's not mandatory. So next we need to set up our tube, or excuse me, our hose fittings. And this is a hose fitting that I've used in this case. Uh, one thing to note is the connection point. You'll put the connection point where you want to measure the length of the hose assembly from. And to account for the cutting off of the hose or the hose not going all the way to the connection point, you will look at the connection point itself, the connection point, it'll be defined as a tube. The nominal diameter will be the OD of the tube. Then you can then select the tube that you want to use. In this case, it's going to be my my hose SLD PRT file and the configuration to use for the hose. Also note the couple other things in the properties for this C point. The stub length is the length of the straight line from the connection point to where you would want the spline to be or spline to start. So you'll want to make sure that stub length is, extends beyond the length of the tube fitting or from your length location, your C-point to the end of the tube fitting. So that way you won't have your spline starting in the fitting. Then there's also the end length adjustment. Now normally this is a positive value, for example, where you have a ferrule lock type tube fitting where the tube actually extends beyond the C-point. In this case, our hose is going to be cut back from the C-point, so we'll have a negative value. So in this case, a negative value of 1.75 inches is the distance from the C-point to where the end of the hose part file will be. So there's the, the hose fitting. Here is the hose file itself. There is a design table behind this, and I'm not going to go into detail, but here's a design table. Here's where you define the configuration name and the properties that are required for the particular hose assembly. <laughs>